Hi guys, it's Tommy from Sweet Tea Designs. Um, I'm coming to you today with a super, super duper awesome project um, that I got asked to do. I'm going to be doing a sunflower glitter wood grain peekaboo tumbler. Um, I'm going to be doing this video, of course, like my, the others in steps. Um, that way you know exactly what I'm doing um, and all of that. But this is a 20 ounce skinny. I have already sanded it and cleaned it and primed it. I used um, just regular um, fine grit sandpaper and just went over it a little bit. And then um, I used 91% alcohol to clean it. And then I used um, Rust-Oleum two times paint plus primer matte white for the base coat. So um, here's that right here. Um, so the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, glitter this tumbler. And I didn't have the yellow yellow that I wanted. Um, all I had was fluorescent yellow. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little brighter than I wanted. I wanted more of a, you know, sunflower yellow color. And then I've seen people use gold. And I didn't know how that would turn out with the wood grain because I like a lighter wood grain and the gold I thought would probably blend in. So what I did, um, these are two, this is fluorescent yellow and lemon gold. They're from Magic Fly Glitter. Um, they come in like a 50, bo 50 color box. They're so awesome. Um, and these are really fine, like almost powdery type glitters. I like to work with fine, extra fine glitters because it doesn't take a whole lot of epoxy to cover them. Whereas if you use like a chunky, you have to use uh, more epoxy, plus you have to do more sanding and all that. So I, unless I want the chunky, chunky look um, specifically, I don't usually like to use um, chunky glitters. So these are um, extra fine glitters. And there's what the, the label looks like. Um, and so what I did... I took those and I mixed them together. The gold, kind of, if you can see that, the gold kind of um, tones down the fluorescent yellow just a little bit. Um, and it kind of gives me that little extra, you know, uh, pop in there. So, um, and like I said, I couldn't choose which one I really, really wanted. I was scared of the gold mixing with the wood grain. And then I was scared that the fluorescent was going to be a little too um, bright. So I just mixed them together and I have them in my little container here. There's something in there. Um, so that's what I did. And this is what I'm going to use for my glitter. Um, I'm going to use the Mod Podge method. I really love the Mod Podge method. Um... So that will be the first video that I show you It was is basically the the priming part, you know uh, Explaining that and how I do that. I did the bottom two. I'm gonna do the whole cup in the glitter um, And then once I get it glittered um, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have holes or you know anything like that um, and I'm going to um, check and see if I ha need a second coat of the glitter um, a lot of times, if you can get the Mod Podge on pretty quick and smooth and easy, you don't necessarily need a second coat. Plus, again, this is going to be a peekaboo, so a lot of it's not going to be seen, and I can cover up any mistakes that I may have. Um, so, we're going to try not to need an, a second coat, but if I do, um, I'll... I'll do that off camera. I'll do the second coat off camera. And then it, once I'm satisfied with the glitter, I will go in with my um, triple thick clear coat and just make sure everything is good and dry and um, stuck on there before I go in with my epoxy. And if you haven't, uh, if you don't know how to epoxy, 
Um, I usually try not to do that on camera unless someone asks me to because um, it's pretty straightforward. I use amazing clear cast, one to one ratio. It's pretty straightforward as long as you get your measurements, ex you know, just right. Um, there's no rhyme or reason how you put the epoxy on. You just make sure everything is is on. Um, so if you would like to do uh, like me to do a video on how I do that, I will. But um, that's usually the boring part. You just sit there and watch it spin and watch me put epoxy on. So let's get into the exciting part. I love, love, love glitter. I will use it a lot. You will find. Um, so I'm going to tilt you down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And um, we're going to go from there again. Once I get the glitter on, I'm going to clear coat it. Um, some people don't. They let theirs dry, their epox, their Mod Podge, I'm sorry, excuse me, Mod Podge dry. And then just go right in with the epoxy. Um, <clears throat> and I do, I do let my Mod Podge dry for about an hour in between each coat. Um, uh, but I just like the extra security, especially if I'm doing it for a customer. Now, my own personal, if I'm experimenting with something, sometimes I won't. But um, this time I will. So I'm going to do all of that off camera, the, the clear coat and the epoxy off camera. And then I will come back tomorrow and show you how to put the decals on. And, um, and then I'm going to spray over it, you know, and do all the wood grain and everything tomorrow. So let's dig in. Okay. I'm hoping everyone can see what I'm doing from here. I think you can. I'm going to touch down just a hair more. Okay. There we go. Yes. Everyone, I think, can see. I'm hoping that it's not at a weird angle and weird lighting and all that. So. This is, I've got my little um, sponge brush. These are pretty cheap. I've got Mod Podge. This is the one that I use. And I put it in a um, paint tray um, so that I don't get glitter in and out of my little um, container. So I'm just going to dig in here. Go down the cup. Really good. Ooh, I'm slinging that stuff today. This is the kind of the boring part also. You just want to really make sure you're coating your cup really, really good. Um, make sure you don't have holes. Make sure you get the tops, the bottoms, the middles, you know, all of that. Make sure everything's good and coated. Looks like I'm going to need more Mod Podge. I usually wait to do the bottom to the end because that way if I'm working by myself and I don't have anyone here to <laughs> help me a little bit because um, my kids usually help me you know open things and whatever if my hands are full but I usually wait to do the bottom um, because that way I can set it down um, if I need to open more glitter or if I need to um, you know, open my Mod Podge again, or, you know, whatever the case may be, I can just set it down like that without having to worry about if it's going to fall over, or, you know, or if I accidentally just lay it down, you know, or whatever like that. I've done that before. Big mistakes, you know, that kind of thing. So, there we go. I'm going to just set that up like that, because there's nothing on the bottom. I'm going to pour a little bit more Mod Podge in there because it looks like we're going to need it. And this stuff does dry pretty quick, so you really want to get it on there um, really, really good. Um, make sure that, you know, what I do is I kind of go in with the big um, blobs, I guess, of it like this. And... Um, and then I go back and just smooth them out. That way, you know, if you 
get half that way you're not getting halfway around the cup and everything is dry and then you can kind of check and see where you may have holes or you know that kind of thing um and so that's kind of why i do it this way and you can kind of move the access around um the cup if you do have spots that may have dried on you um you can kind of feel that and make sure that everything is still wet by the time you get done um I've, i have gotten halfway around a cup and the whole other side be completely dry so with that being said let's start in with the glitter and i just have a little plastic container that i mixed everything with and I'm gonna go in and just sprinkle this around. And again, I may have to mix up some more because this really doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, this doesn't look like enough to really, really cover this cup. And so I will probably, yep. I've, I haven't even gotten a quarter of the way through yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my Mod Podge to the side and get fold my paper and keep reusing um, as I go along. I really love these little transfer sheets. They come in my with my um, print and cut um, paper for my machine. And I think there's like five in a package or something like that with my paper. And I love, I collect them and that's what I use this for. So I love those. They, they work awesome for, I'm very frugal. So I like to reuse things. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm going to need to mix some more glitter here. I'm using the yellow. I use more yellow than I do gold. And when I, I'm just going to dump that in there. That way I'll have a container to put it in when I'm done. This will be my sunflower color. I have a lot of gold. So, and then I just stir that in there. I use gold and silver and white a lot, it seems like, um, doing my crafts and things. So I just stirred that in there, mix that up real quick, and I'm just going to keep going. Again, if you notice that, you know, you're getting more and more holes or, you know, different parts are getting dry, um, you can go back in later. I like to wait um to fill in holes especially with this one um i feel like i mean again i i haven't ever done all of these combinations together before but um i think i'm gonna let this complete this coat completely dry first check and see if i have any holes and then go back with a second coat if I have any holes or a reason to um, and then that way I don't have clumps and you know all of that stuff that you tend to have sometimes when you work with Mod Podge um, you tend you can tend to have clumps of glitter and I do not I absolutely do not want clumps I want this to be as smooth as possible so, and then, like I said, with this cup, it's going to be a peekaboo anyways. So I can kind of um, cover up any holes that I may have or any, you know, imperfections that I may have with um, the paint. I can, you know, skip that spot with a decal and just and paint it or, you know, something like that. So um, I'm not too, too worried. I just want to make sure this glitter goes on very very smooth um and you know i just i'm super excited about this one this is like my like i said my first time doing all these methods together and i'm really really excited to be able to do this 
and I'm hoping that you're being able to catch this color on camera because it is absolutely beautiful the the gold really toned down the fluorescent yellow um so there's a, another teaching moment in there also you know um if you don't necessarily have all the colors that you need you can kind of look at what you have sometimes and say okay what can i do here and i'm having to learn that myself you know, because I used to be one of those, oh, I don't have that yellow, so I absolutely, I cannot do that project. And I was not ever very creative minded until I really got into all of this. And uh, my mom got that gene. My mom and my sister got that creative gene. And for the, for years, I thought that I had never got it. And uh, my mom and I started working together. We opened our own store together. And um, like I said, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to the Cricut machine. And ever since then, I've just been kind of opening up to a lot of different possibilities. Um, this is one of my favorite things to do is the cups um, because there's really no end to what you can do with these things. Um, and different methods and you know all this different stuff you can do with them and so I, I absolutely just love doing them and so I'm doing this today this cup today uh, while my mom is gone because she hates glitter <laughs> she's one of those she's a glitter hater um, she says it gets on everything and you can't ever get it out and it does but I'm a glitter person so I'm doing this with her gone today um, and what I was doing here I was just tapping make sure I'm getting access glitter off um, and I think I've got that I don't really I don't think I need to pat it too much I don't want to move it around a whole lot I'm gonna try to see show you this color I'm hoping you're picking that up really well but um, it's it's a gorgeous color. Like I said, I mixed fluorescent yellow and lemon gold together. And I got this really, really beautiful um, sunflower color. I actually think I like it better than I would have if I'd used just a regular yellow. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up my mess and let this dry. And if it needs a second coat, I will, but I really don't see anything that I can't cover up with, with the paint. I don't want a whole lot of extra going on here. Like I said, I want it smooth as I can get it. Um, and I really think one layer will do it. Um, and so I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to let it dry and, um, and then just go go over it with the clear coat and then just epoxy over that and I may actually have a treat for you guys I may um, upload a video of me doing the epoxy um, because I do have another cup that I did over here um, it's my personal cup I was experimenting didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to but hey you know it, it's my cup and so it's not a big deal um, so, um, I may show you how to epoxy with both of those. So, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was very helpful. And remember, tips, tricks, and comments are always, um, accepted.